All right, recording has been started. Who wants to give recap? Mm -hmm. So you're never gonna guess what happened last week. If you guessed Asha did something it shouldn't have done, well, what can I say? Here's the thing, they absolutely should have done it, and it was extremely funny that she did it. Yeah. Here's the thing. Alice was like, do not, under any circumstances, fuck with that. And Asha was like, okay, grabs the object, presses a button, and then it turns out, like, um, there were uh, creatures. There were consequences for their there It's fine. Sometimes security gets cold on you, and you just gotta deal with it. And then, uh, Cyprus got fucking killed by who? Yeah, well, you mercy killed say. me. <laughs> I did, I did murder my bestie. It was for the best. I'm so sorry, King. Mm. Um, but we did a little bit of investigation. A little bit of investigation and inspection on the room with the weird security. And we stole some little guys. Um, we did, in fact, steal some little guys. Yay. We stole some little guys. I have a little guy. A little, guy. <laughs> a little, a little man. Um, and Cyprus was, was he done cooking by the time yes. we ended? He was able yes, to get there, um, so we're fine on that front, Man, at least. Man, is done cooking. We retrieved him. I have been retrieved from the pit. <laughs> Remove that man from the moss immediately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, we ended by seeing some scorpions. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. yeah the scorpion. Or a scorpion. Oh, fuck, I, the I scorpion. I can't exactly remember. Two of the fucking gamers had scorpion pit, scorpion room themed uh, names, and I even <laughs> noticed earlier, I was like, oh yeah, Joe and Nocturne have matching scorpion pit, scorpion room nicknames. Uh, Wonder what that's about. As if I wasn't there. God. Yeah, we, we came into the room, there was a big fucking scorpion, and I was like, I could put it in a pit. That's so funny. God, I also, love the pit. Do you want me to try to put the scorpion in a pit? Well, I, I mean, mean, I'm always I'm always down for pit shenanigans. Pit gang votes yes. Yes. Always to pit. Okay. <sighs> How many of each did I have in this time? Thank God I actually leave myself fucking notes. <laughs> it would be very funny what? if you didn't. I said thank God I leave myself fucking notes in for this game. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, last week I was struggling with the notes thing. Uh, I just have in my my session thirteen notes is I died. Thank God. <laughs> All the stats. Are oh, oh. I, I thought that was just one really, really big scorpion. Not. not that is. Uh, unfortunately, I think if one. that if oh. that is to scale, that is too big a scorpion for me to put in a pit. It is, God bless. You can Ow. put the smaller scorpions into a pit. Let's see, bears. You get a pit. And you get a pit. Everyone gets a pit. And a pit. Uh, yeah, I, I can put two scorpions in. Actually, depending on if, if they cluster, I can potentially get the smaller scorpions into pits. Mm -hmm. Um. But, yeah. It's fine. Yeah, when you described a big scorpion, I was like, oh yeah, probably large. That, 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 that's a really fucking big scorpion. And there is a really fucking big scorpion. Right there. <laughs> that certainly is a big fucking scorpion. He's a beefy Should boy. Be the other guys are just like house cat size. Mm. Not yeah. house cat size. Yeah. House cat size. Just a house cat sized scorpion. No yep. big deal. No big deal. Why would it be a big deal? Listen, Why? Joe, I know not all of us live in Australia. <laughs> no, 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 I was. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a bit. That was feel. Mine was a bit. 
My favorite professor went to went to grad school in Arizona, and she talks all the time about the scorpions they dealt with, and I think I would rather die than live in Arizona. <laughs> I would rather die than live so in true. Arizona. <laughs> well, if I get into my dream program, you might have to come visit Arizona. Oh, fuck, I forgot you no! also want to go to grad school in Arizona. Yeah. God damn you. Blame Susan Stryker. Um... <laughs> If I have to see a scorpion to hang out with you, I'll, that that will be the worst punishment God could put on me. So, uh, should we be putting ourselves on the map? Yes, please. Oh, Where? boy. Which way did we come from? Top? Uh, yes. no, here. Yes, yes. top, that way. Yeah, yeah, we came from the top, okay. And there. You're like, this direction. Look, mm -hmm. I want to be... Um... As soon uh, as we know- have we've noticed the scorpions, yes? Yes. I would like to hide against a wall. <laughs> yeah, can, can I do something that is also out of initiative as far as having spotted the scorpions? Uh, yes, you may all take one action uh, before we roll the ship since you spotted them first. Yes. Cool! Uh, I'm casting Ice Knife so that I can get myself a cool knife made of- Ice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So, so that I can give myself a literal ice knife um, to shank these things with. We can all take I'm... one standard action. Yes. I'm gonna dinosaur up again. Sorry, it's called Icicle Dagger in this version, but anyway. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> hey, bestie. Yeah. I, I, there's a spell in the chat for you. Oh. you. You have a present. Plus two morale bonus on attack rolls and weapon damage rolls. D6 temporary. You, you, you've damage. been given a gift. Yo. Yo. Gift. Hey, bestie. Thanks, Thanks bestie. I'm a dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. I feel like I feel like when the contagious zeal happens, um, the feathers on like every part of his body just like lift. <laughs> um, that's also in addition to uh, inspiring rage, which will kick in next round or the first round of combat, rather. Alrighty. And then Thyvis, who I am controlling. I don't have a character sheet for. So he's gonna be the, up here, out of the way. Oh. <laughs> and not a part of combat. <laughs> I think I have a character sheet for him somewhere in my messages from Noct, but I don't want to go looking for it right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's Cyrus is like, the, those scorpions are too big. No. No scorpions for Cyrus. Cyrus has um, never seen a scorpion before. What the fuck is wrong with that lobster? Those aren't yet. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that lobster? So, if you all want to roll initiative now? Yeah, that's a thing. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I do. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. That we do. Um, roll dice. Um, so, we'll so use the sparkly one for Hanza. Um, I'm gonna use my and weed. do I have I'm one that works hard? Okay. Ooh, that's a good roll. That's okay. my... Oh, I can smoke weed now. I'm not I hope no one heard that. I heard it. Don't worry. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> my dice are stored next to all of my weed paraphernalia. Excellent. <laughs> so I saw my loaded bowl and I was like, oh. Wait a minute. Okay, anyway. I can roll this. I'm gonna roll to get... Oh! Here we go. I was wondering why I couldn't... Ooh, that is a... I'm gonna roll in the sheet just to get me on the initiative order. Oh yeah, I should do that. I did roll my dice first. Um, uh, I to... Oh, I didn't... What? I had my token selected and everything. I hate this. Bruh. I can add you up. Well, my my total was twenty two, so oh, well, the second roll was closer anyway. Eight plus four is yeah, twenty two. Eighteen. Do you want me to roll to get myself on the thing? I can get you turns. Okay. There you go. 
Thank you. Seventeen. <laughs> Renza, you're up first. Oh! I thought Elf was going ahead of me. Okay. Um. Technically, I should. Oh. Yeah, I rolled it. I didn't put it in the chat, though. I rolled it. I rolled an 18 with a plus four for my initiative. Okay, in which case, Elif, you're up first. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> um. I'm assuming I can't see the big guy. Can I see the little guy? You can see the little guy. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to shoot at him. The blue one. Okay. And that is a... And is this sneak attack because I said I was hiding? Yes. It can okay, Brad. Hell yeah. That is a natural 19 plus 7. Uh, yeah, that'll fucking hit it. It's a baby <laughs> scorpion. Then <laughs> the baby scorpion. <laughs> Uh, D8. So that is uh, eight, and then do, do, does it have more than eight hit points? Uh, yes, unfortunately. Okay, I will. I will roll my 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 D sixes then. Eight plus five plus two plus five, so twenty. You kill it. <laughs> yeah. This is not meant to be that tough a combat, guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> Squish. Okay. Well, listen, there's also two combats I haven't been able to ride. Right oh, uh, sorry, um, high school dagger. You shoot a scorpion to death. Congratulations. Dabs. <laughs> I'm, I'm good where I am. I'm good where I am. Okay. <laughs> Renza. Oh, Hmm. I don't think I want to use one of my second level spell slots to. So I'm just gonna re-angle slightly so I can get sight on one of the scorpions. Okay. So where would I need to move to get that? Uh, to get which one? Uh, probably not the big one. Uh, otherwise, I'm not overly fast at the moment. Uh, just anywhere, like, in this, like, bit right in front of everybody, you'd be able to see the whole room. Okay. If you get down here, you have sight on these two, but not the big guy. Sorry, I need to minimize the turn order. Eh, I'll, I'll pot shot at this dude because I can immediately scoot back around. And harder. Crossbow. That's a 19 plus something. That'll hit. <laughs> okay, and that is. Sparkly D8. Only five points of damage, but damage is damage. Uh, how many is that? Sorry. Five. Five. On which one again? Sorry. Green. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's still standing, but... That's alright. You did... You did kind of... You did... It, it is... Again, it's a bigger scorpion, but it is not. Yeah. Uh, anything else, my dear? That is movement and action. And I'm not costing at the moment, so, not, so that is me for now. Cypress. Hello, I want to eat the big one. Um... Hmm. I can go 60 feet. 
Hmm. Okay. Want to rage. Tell is the rage thing open. Do I want to go here? I'm trying to figure out where I want to be optimal here. Hmm. So I can move 60 feet. I assume I can't get behind this guy, right? One more time. Like... Mm. Maybe, maybe he'll get... Maybe like right here. Okay. Yeah, I'll go there. So I have movement of 60 feet. Um, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. unleash three attacks on him. Two claw, or two talon, one bite. Yep. Um, where's my- I wanted another dice for this, hold on. Okay, so the bite misses, but there's one natural 20 in the claw, and the other claw is... What's my bonus stat? Oh, and I was also doing this as um, a power attack. Um, okay. That bonus is plus 8. So that would be a 21 to hit for the other talent attack. Both will hit, yep. Cool. Um. Alright, damage time. So that would be 2d8. One of which would be doubled. Um, so tea room will be the normal one. Purple heart will be the other. Okay. So that would be... So, 13 for the first. Yep. And then the second one is... And that's... Oh yeah, that all is doubled, right? Including the modifier? Yes. Times two, so that would be... 26 on the second. Boy, how do so you... So you kill the giant... You, you kill the giant scorpion in one go. Crunch. Oh. <laughs> Fucking crunch. Yeah. This is making me feel better about what I did for the boss of this area. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, to be fair, most of the time, um, because Joe hadn't helped me, I didn't use my power attack like I should have. <laughs> No, that will be my turn. Thank you. <laughs> there goes there goes my cool sting attack. Um, <laughs> gotcha. I mean, at this point, there's literally no point in me even using my uh, my fucking raging song. Not really. Um, the thing about me is that I have very short legs. <laughs> I let me check my speed because it's not very fast. Right, if you Ow. can get to like here and possibly hold your attack, Edhara can drag it into range for you. I am not too stressed about being into in range for anything. Um, in being meaning being right up against the thing. I am interested. Oh, hold on. Let me check the range on Court of Shards because I could be sex. Now it's 15 feet. I make a. And I'm then, in which case I'm going to ear piercing scream. Um. <laughs> this. This scorpion. Not necessary. Um, but you need to make a fortitude save. Alright. There goes our good buddy Asha screaming again. 
<laughs> this is one that you guys can't hear. It's the silent scream. Oh. Um, Maybe a 12. That is a failure. So you are uh, going to take 2d6 points of damage and and be dazed for one round. Is the day is it like a mind affecting effect? Um it is a sonic effect. Okay. I believe. It doesn't say the spell is evocation sonic and doesn't have a mind affecting tag, so I'm going to I believe that the day's effect is associated with that. Uh, only six points of damage, alas. He is dazed. Bitches be dazed. Remind me what dazed does. That, that, you know, I wish you, you could never guess what I'm about to be googling. Dazed. <laughs> the thing about me is that I won't remember all of what my spells do. Okay, it's unable to, uh, it can't, bleh. It is unable to act normally. It cannot take actions, but it doesn't take a penalty to AC. Okay. So no actions for that hope. Anything else, my guy? I... Well, no, I don't think I can do anything else. So I won't do anything else. Um, I will... No, that's a lie. I will say... um, so the Iron Fist Mining Corporation has all this very high-tech um, security and magic and all of that. I don't think the scorpions are part of it. <laughs> Probably not. And that's that's my turn. Okay. Adhara? Had the wrong thing selected. Over here, going to bite the scorpion, or at least attempt to. Chopper. Okay. Love 23 it. almost certainly hits. Yeah, that'll hit. For an initial five points of damage, and is it still alive? Uh, yes. Cool. So the pull attempt goes off. Um, does 19 beat its CMD? Uh, yeah. Cool, so it is pulled into, uh, just to this squat, and, uh, the tail slap and sting are, are going to occur. Okay. We have... 21 is the low roll. That'll hit, yeah. <laughs> Beast. 19 plus 2 and 18 plus 7. Oh, Dead. wait, no. This is a d6 and a... Hold on, that's not damage, that was the attack rolls. Uh, oh. this is... Uh, 5, another 6, so another 11 points. Dead. Fantastic! Just one scorpion left to deal with. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> I, I believe in you, buddy. Get us. Little <laughs> guy. <laughs> this oh, this little does... guy is gonna do so much. He does have the speed. He's getting up in here. He's skittling <laughs> under the table. I actually... Yes, King. We love him. <laughs> Get a... New pet. <laughs> He's gonna make two claw attacks. <sighs> I, be I believe in him. I want Those him are to two... succeed. Those are two natural ones. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> I, I, I want him to succeed oh, so badly. This poor old guy. He his family. He's just... I, think he's go he, I think he kind of goes past you, like snipping and he's just gonna continue to scuttle and he's gonna get the fuck out of there bye Fell. Yeah. good for him Scuttling. He's, gonna, he's gonna disappear into those rocks uh that's the combat <laughs> scuttled away 
<laughs> I loved that for one. God. Congratulations, you beat my scorpion puzzle. Um... <laughs> kind of a waste of contagious deal, but like it was important for bestie energy. Yeah. He's forgiven you now. The contagious seal. <laughs> we Not that it had any grudges again. to begin with. <laughs> Can we rummage to this room and see if there's anything interesting? Uh, make perception checks. The lot of you. Checks. Perception. Can I eat the scorpions? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. That was bad. No. <laughs> Thanks. Guys. Actually, I'm gonna oh, okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Never mind. My perception's really good. Um, that's what is I've that? got Seven. what is the second funniest roll that Ranza can get on a perception check. Oh? The funniest <laughs> is a now one for a zero. <laughs> okay. Nice. So what all of you get is you're going to find two lots of minor valuables. My favorite. Love minor valuables. Uh, Mm -hmm. We're also going to find another bit of the Iron Fist research notes. Cool. Um, and then there is a another pile of notes off to the side that uh, are specifically different. Shiny. Research. Give me one second. Ransom would also like to try and collect some of the scorpion poison. Ooh, Cypress would like to help with that if Ooh. that's possible. Uh, make a survival check. Okay. Ew. So, if Cyprus is helping, that that's a plus two, right? Mm-hmm. So that is a 17 total. Huh. Yeah, you're able to get some scorpion poison. Nice. Um, I'll check what you'll get from that in one second. Yeah. Just, I, I think it might be useful for Elith in particular, although it might be very fun to apply the poison to Cypress's claws. Ooh. <laughs> he already does so much. <laughs> no. Give him more. <laughs> That's the point. I want to uh, do more damage. Yeah. Yeah, so Make sorry. Him more beast. <laughs> I love doing more damage. <laughs> That is true. I so I think we're going to get enough to give enough for Elith and Cypress to use some, but otherwise we'll probably give the vial to Elith. Okay. I so we got food. one vial of uh, poison? Uh, scorpion poison? Yeet. What are you thinking? I don't know how much we have, because I think Parker had to... Gotcha. No, I'm googling shit. Um, gotcha. Oh, okay.
not, so here are those other notes that I promised you. Promised them? And the scorpion poison, uh, you're gonna get about three uses of it. Um, cool. Each use will be do I don't know why I didn't expect you to grab the scorpion poison. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Collect resources. <laughs> uh it'll do one dex damage. So. Oh, Interesting. Okay. Um, and how many uses did we get of that? Three. It's an injury poison as well. So it has to be applied upon the weapon. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Mary. I love yes, Mary. So, so I think that um, one use for Cypress and then the rest for Ellis? Sure. Lots of damage. So it does one dex damage, and did he say it does something else? Nope, just one dex damage. Okay, okay. But that'll be in um, addition to the damage you deal with the... Rad. How the heck do I spell Men? Elth's name again? <laughs> e <laughs> um, E-L-Y-T-H. Thank you. I was like, I almost had it. I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> when I looked at it. <laughs> Yeah, you cannot lay on Thank my keyboard. You. Not only can he, but he must lay on your keyboard. He must. I, Sorry, what was I that was going to say, the catacombs were more trouble than they were worth. I have a great idea for where we're going to find a boss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta look at what those notes were. I was too busy yeah? I, I, see, that's the obvious thing, and then you read the rest of it, and you're like, oh, hmm. fuck. <laughs> yeah. This, I'm, I'm depressed. Mm -hmm. Even when the Iron Fists were the only remaining power in Nudora, gamers. Mm. What are you doing? What are you doing? Got your first little yeah. bit of timeline there. Yeah. I'm going to bury my face in the carpet and scream. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you were gonna say you were gonna eat the timeline. I'm, I thought you were well, gonna I was, eat the I was really thinking about crunching some scorpions to deal with this emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> With my knowledge of how scorpion venom works, would eating a scorpion be harmful to me? As long as you don't eat the tail. I've got this. I'm crunching a scorpion. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just, it tastes like a bug. Mm -hmm. I should you know have how You know how Asha feels about bugs. Do we? I feel like Cypress has probably eaten one of... Not these specifically, but at least maybe one scorpion in his lifetime. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sometimes you gotta eat a scorpion. Yeah. Eat There's a lot of protein in there. Why not? <laughs> yeah, crunching. Is everyone just like actively eating scorpion? I mean, Cypress is sitting could. down eating a scorpion. Uh, Ryan does not. Um, I'll eat a scorpion. <laughs> There's um, enough scorpion to go around. I'm gonna sniff it and make sure um, what they're eating isn't gonna make them sick 
<laughs> I mean, it's a scorpion. Make a nature check? <laughs> okay. A knowledge nature? Pretty... Sure. I'm all right with those. Oh. Um, that's a 27. <laughs> I'm all right with those. <laughs> all right. I did roll a 17 plus 10, so... <laughs> oh, damn! Uh, yeah, yeah as, as long as they don't eat the, the tail, they should be fine. Scorpions, Scorpions are not always the best source of, like, nutrients. They're not easy to catch, um, but when you have them, they're fine. You all have eaten bugs before. Bugs yeah. are great, actually. Bugs in yeah. big quantities, great source of nutrition. Um, Wait a minute, are we each chomping on our own cat-sized scorpion, or are we sharing? I mean, if... I, I like to imagine we're passing around one cat-sized scorpion. Take, take a chomp. <laughs> Everyone take a chomp. Get back some uh, strength. Have, have a little snack before our next wander. <laughs> Snacky snack. Shh. <laughs> a protein bar. <laughs> Here's your clip bar, except it's a scorpion. <laughs> the future is now. <laughs> Sorry about making your your fucking uh, bug eating cannon. Um. <laughs> no, it's very funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Mary, you are just a little guy. Aww. He is just a little guy. He's such a little guy. I can't just keep him all to myself. Dude. You have one avenue of exploration down this way, but it is... Y'all are want... getting pretty tired. Yeah. Um. um... Where's the... Where's the... We're near a pool, right? Up here. Well, yeah, there's the one that's, the uh, Cyprus, uh, grew back in. Mm. Yeah. Up by this broken bridge up here. Could be nap time. Squad could nap. nap. Love nap. Could be nap time. Uh, do we want to nap in the scorpion run? <laughs> do we want to nap in the scorpion room? That is a question. That's why Wait, I, I want to go look in the- I want to go look in the pool. And see if scorpions. Sentences that have been said before. <laughs> yeah. So true. Okay. Uh, you go back to the pool. Uh, you look. You look inside of it. Um. First off. The other corpse body uh, is chugging along, chugging its way along to a degree. Um, it's not quite broken the moss layer yet. Okay. Um, if there's scorpions coming, they ain't coming yet. Okay, we should check the scorpions again in the morning. Yep. I am curious about... No, I'm not going to say that out loud yet. That theory needs to be baked longer. Okay. I mean, so, question. You said that we got a map of the complex. Yeah. Okay. This room looks like it's a bunkhouse of some sort. Uh, which room? Oh, Hold on. Um, that room, uh, so the map is a little deceptive. Don't overtake any of these maps is 100% gospel, unless I specifically mention it. Fair. That's some of why I brought it up, was, like, asking, does that actually look, on the map we have seen, like it would be a bunkhouse? Um, it is actually labeled, um, not as a bunkhouse, but, um... instead labeled research outpost huh. hmm. 
Cypress is gonna come out of his dinosaur form. Do you wanna head forward? I don't know if we should do that here. Well, I don't know if we should fart it down unless you're on a very exciting nap, which is understandable. Okay, do we want to bump down in here, or do we want to push forward a little bit more and see if we can find somewhere a little bit more secure to bump down? Um, does it look like if we needed to, we could, like, barricade a little bit of the scorpion room to kind of, like, you know, keep small things out or something? Like, pull a table from somewhere and... Yeah, uh, so there are a couple of tables around here as well. Um... It seems like this is probably used maybe as, like, the foreman's, like, area. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can, like, grab a couple of the desks and chairs and tables and barricade them and barricade the entrance if you want. Yeah, that Cypress will bring it. that up and just say, we can just tip them over and if something big rams into it, we can just take it out again. Yeah, sounds yeah. fair. Alright, Cypress is gonna crack his knuckles and he's gonna start moving tables. <laughs> with all of you with enough time, I won't make you roll it. You can, uh, you can, you can, like, make a pile, like a barricade pile. Hell yeah. Hell um, yeah. Can, can, can we find furniture that's damaged enough that it won't be too hard to break it to make, like, a small file? Um... Yeah, they're like particularly the chairs, the smaller chairs yeah. that will be used to the barricade. Um, Ooh, you can we make can a roast. small little fire. Roast one of the yeah. cat-sized scorpions. Mm. <laughs> oh, land lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it cook up some food. Um, help it be. It help us be a little bit less dismal. Land lobster. You know the drill. Yeah. Cypress might have some herbs we could use. <laughs> Make it taste better. Oh? Whatever we have for food. I mean, he probably has some other, um... I don't know, I haven't specified saying he has uh, druid drugs, but he's probably got some somewhere where he can <laughs> find it. <laughs> we should not get high in the monster caves! Get high in the monster caves! <laughs> he is an herbalist. He knows his shit. He can find I some love, I love that idea. <laughs> I love bad ideas. Don't listen to me. I love this party. We'll get through the caves and then we can find some um, hallucinogens or something. I don't know. <laughs> the party has priorities. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. The, the From Soft Style horrors beyond our comprehension are not enough, so we must. Yeah. We must imbibe. <laughs> Guys, imagine if we You're find, like, some, like, crazy-ass mushrooms. Hmm? I want to see Ash on crazy-ass mushrooms. <laughs> Asha would just become normal. <laughs> Asha would just become normal. Asha would just become a guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Fucked up. You were saying, so, Parker? Uh, you are all able to get a long rest. Congratulations. Woohoo! Fuck yeah, love that cross. My damage, I it's need... gone. <laughs> I need Elith and Asha to make me fortitude saves. Oh. Okay. Fortitude. Okay. For why? That was a uh, 21. I just remembered that we ate scorpions. Okay. Now, uh, at the end of a long rest, do we get all hit points back? Do we get, like, one hit point back? 19. You get all your hit points back. Okay, cool. 
Mailbee. Okay. Mm -hmm. He looks you so soft. You wake up with a bit of a headache in the morning, but not that bad. Hmm. Hmm. Can oh, I you didn't take the goop dying? off, did you? Oh, I didn't <laughs> take the goop off. I thought we took that. I was running an experiment on myself. We did both eat scorpions as well. Yes. I thought we took- Didn't someone break out a bathtub next to that pool? Re Renza did because, um... I don't know, it might not be the moss. Or... It might just be something else that we're not thinking about, like the mushrooms. No. That's true. Or the scorpions we ate. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. Meta-knowledge. Yeah. But you all wake up in the morning. Uh, the headache passes with breakfast. Um, mm. I'm dying. <laughs> you now have a day in the monster caves to yourself. Well. <laughs> Love the monster caves. Big. Fan. Well, before I re-summon at heart, do we want to? Uh, do you want me to summon something to go scout? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay. Oh. Very. <laughs> what are you summoning? Eating him. He looks so him. Smooth. Sorry, I had to put his ear in my mouth. He's so- he looks He's so on the sad. camera- you guys could have seen it, by the way. He's on camera. Yeah, I'm looking at him. Oh no, I was not looking! Uh, I'll put- I'll put his ear in my mouth anytime. <laughs> <laughs> um... Please? Oh, yes. Please. I need to figure out where my boy is. I miss him. Sorry, I'm looking through my options. You know what? I think a really good idea is what is um an agathion. What is that? A what you? Yeah, it is. I will send you the stat sheet. Uh, but it is a little um extra planar cat creature that can fly for some reason. But also has really good stealth and perception, so can. Okay. So that that is the little guy that I am asking to help. <laughs> this, this this little cat forms itself out of smoke, and is there. I have a little guy. Um, going to ask it in the celestial that I picked up not very long ago. He's so sleepy. Um, if it's willing to go uh, investigate the Southern Passage and relay what it finds, <laughs> uh, ask it to try to try to keep hidden if it can. Hmm. It 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 mews back at you and trots off. And I will make a roll for it. Yep. That's why I sent you the stat block so that you could. <clears throat> I love that Renza just has power of little guy. Yeah. Power of little guy. Power of little guy. Oh my god, why am I so tired all of a sudden? Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, okay. Um. It fucking rolled a goddamn, like, 34 or something. God. Plus 19 to stealth checks. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. God, I wish for me. It You'll get that. Trust me, you'll get that. <laughs> what was that? It takes, off in, it takes off in this direction. Um, and it is not actually hard for it to... There's a little doorway here that you all can see as you look over this little, uh, like, tiled flooring area that sort of yeah. uh, mm -hmm. 
sort of emerges from the ground and it slips inside and I'm gonna roll a couple of things actually ba, 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 ba. guys he likes goldfish crackers <laughs> what? he, he is correct likes goldfish crackers Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> Karen's cat, um, Tiger, loves Cheez Its. Oh. Loves Cheez Its. He like has good taste. He can't eat things normally, he has to lick them. That's what Mary does. <laughs> He'll, like, chop it, but oh. the wrong way, so he doesn't even crunch it. It just... <laughs> he just slobbers all I'll over it. Him... <laughs> well, I'll give him, I'll give Mary, like, a piece of string cheese, and he just l sits there, licking it. <laughs> yeah. Wait. And I'm like, you pull it into your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Ella. Dance, no. You're able to hear something kind of odd. Uh, just sort of faintly. Um... Who was that to? You, Aleth. Okay, that's what I thought. And the first sound is some of that like mechanical whirring. Oh no. A much different pitch. Okay. Uh deeper. Heavier almost. Okay. And um, then you hear echoing from the tunnels, quietly. Something that sounds akin to a dog bark. Uh-oh. Um. And then, Renza, you feel your connection to the summoned creature snap. Oh! Uh-oh. Dog. Uh, I will 100% relay what I heard. <laughs> Did something happen to your little guy? Uh, yeah, it is. It, 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 it's back in... She kind of scrunches her face. Nirvana, I think? Not entirely sure of the plane. I just kind of reach. Cypress just blinks yeah. at you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, what I'm doing? someone else to scout ahead. Uh, does does whatever that was sound like it was coming closer enough to that I might not have time to properly summon it, Hara? Okay. It sounded behind the door. Okay. So I'll take the minute to get Adhara back, and then we can... Adhara reappears. Yeah. Okay. Shall we go figure out what the hell is going on? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sounds okay. good. So. Like I said... As you start to head down this passageway towards something that had been labeled Research Station, the ground suddenly starts into old, worn tile. Some of it uh, pulled up and gone, and the grouting long since rotted, rotted out. But you can see it, and you can feel it underneath your feet. And then you come up to what at one point must have been a secure steel door but it looks as if in many ways it has been beaten out of shape that's that's discouraging hmm. sorry go ahead no nope, that's as that's as much as you get unless you want okay. to go outside uh, I want 
do one thing first. Can I get a sense for how big something would have had to be to be able to bash its way through this or beat this door out of shape? Make an intelligence or a perception check. Well, I know which one Runs is going for. Uh, dirty 20. Okay. So. The door is sort of caved in on itself from about the midway point down. And this is something also, pretty this, heavy. Is it caved in on this side or caved out towards us? So does out, it seem like... Out towards you. Oh, good. And if it was shut, you could see, like, where the door had given and made a gap of a couple of inches. But whatever had bludgeoned its way past this almost certainly had to have been bigger than that. But the door oh. stands a little ajar. Um, the hinges look a little rusted through. But whatever it was, it was moderately big, but very, but strong. Maybe more mm. dense than anything big. Huh. Maybe taller than you, but like... Not as big as the scorpion or highwold, but okay, big. Yeah. And as you okay. pull it open, you all can see these little odd pattern of holes bored into the back of the door. Okay. Don't like that. Mm. Um, should we probably be doing stealth checks? If you would like. I would like. <laughs> yeah. I have the opinion that stealth is a good idea. I will try stealth. I think I'm pretty good at it still, to be honest. I'm like mm -hmm. mid, and by mid I mean by Pathfinder standards, I have an abominably low stealth. <laughs> well, I have a plus ten to my stealth, so that's. <laughs> yeah, I'd love it if I had lesser <laughs> armor. I mean, I'd have plus twelve if I had lesser armor. That was a math. Oh. Hi guys. You might be wondering how one so small can make so much <laughs> fucking noise. The answer is that it likes to scream. <laughs> it can't it can't shut up. It's like medically. <laughs> Wait, is that five your stealth? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm just a little guy and I wear armor and I have not put points into stealth because I have put <laughs> all my points into knowledge history. And I don't, I'm not, and I can't shut up. I'm just a little guy. It's my birthday. You can't make fun of my stealth check on my birthday. You're okay. You're okay. We, we're delighted. I, I just, I'm I, I love. I'm memeing. Yeah, I'm, I'm very entertained by 23, 25, 25, 29, 5. It's I'm incredible. just a little guy. We love spread. it. Crucially, just a little guy. Mm-hmm. So as you start to, to, as you open the door and the, the, forced for, the first four of you sort of enter this small little space, um, it looks as though it, this had been a small tiled room. There is no bed. Fuck the bed. Um, <laughs> okay. But it had mostly been uh, storage cabinets and shelves. You can see shattered glass 
everywhere, and more of those small little holes peppered all around the walls. Um, in front of you, what what must have been once a like. must have been a fourth wall is broken open and down and you can see into this cavern beyond the building although whether the wall whatever the wall was there for there probably was a door as you can see more what must have been at one point lab equipment sort of scattered around these tables uh that are in this um in this in this back room um, Asha gets too interested in some of the remaining glassware and ends up knocking some of it off a shelf causing it to scatter on the floor oh no I'm just a little guy you are just oh. a little guy, and we love you for this. Oh. It was too high up on the shelf, and I was like, I can reach that. And the thing is, is I'm short, so I couldn't, but I wanted to anyway. And, well, there's consequences for my actions, and here we are. Experiencing hey, consequences for my actions. This is what each hand is for. I, look, I am a... Uh, look. Do you think Asher hey. remembers relevant skills and spells in any given <laughs> circumstance? No. They're like, I'm gonna climb up this shelf, and then he's gonna be like, ah, fuck, can't reach the glass. Well, if I stretch this a little bit farther, maybe I'll reach the glass, and then boom, damn, oh god, the glass all over the floor. It's oh everywhere. my god, there's so much glass. I just knocked so much down, and that was really loud. Oh god, did somebody else hear that? Everybody else heard that. Fuck. Wow, that is so relatable. <laughs> I love that just so much. Everyone else, including... The... the three shapes oh out oh. in this cavern and one two three they poke their heads up and zero in on all of you what oh your first thought upon seeing these things is dog and then no they're big way big bigger than even the dogs back in the village and they're a little too lupine to be pure dog cypress you think maybe wolfhound instead mm. but even then big much bigger than a wolfhound should be. And then something else catches your attention. Aleth, particularly because as they move and stand, one of them seems as though they're sort of pacing around an area, like, confused, looking for something that may have dissipated into the smoke ten minutes ago. Um, <laughs> but as they move... The, you hear that heavy whirring and all of you can see poking out between patches of fur bits of metal one of them looks at you with one eye that looks natural and the other that seems replaced by some sort of a red glass that glows behind it. And it <laughs> runs down the jawline and you can see the metal almost fused into the skin. Ooh. A couple of others, the, the other two, the legs seemed seem reinforced, as do the the feet and the claws. Something trails along one of their spines with one of those with some of that metallic glint. And they look very unhappy to see all of you. <laughs> hmm. And 
And I'm going to ask everyone to roll initiative. Yippee! Puppies, yay. Oh, I rolled like shit for this initiative. Uh oh. Uh. Let me. Masters, I, I know it's not what Parker is describing, but I am just thinking of the fetches from Transistor. Yes! Oh, that was. Why are they so big? Because they're big. They are big. Those are large. Why are we large. so small? This is not. You did decide to play a norm. For the, uh... Oh, I'm not. I'm Besties. Not... Oh, well, that was a useless roll. <laughs> well, okay. Oh, I don't go there. I was just dragging. <laughs> Um, uh, wow, did we all roll shit? Wait. <laughs> also, my roll for that? initiative was the same as the one I rolled with my physical dice. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. That's I ridiculous. Hello, please select. Why are you not... I can move you, but I can't select you now? Oh, right, there we go. I'm gonna eat the, the dogs. Uh, my, my initiative was actually nine. <laughs> We're I rolled a five. Oh no! Um, it's a, uh, yeah, I rolled a five, and I have plus four. Okay. Adhara. So I have a question. Um. How does holding attacks work in this? Uh, you hold your attack like you would in 5e. Uh, yeah, but can I only hold the one attack or can I hold multiple? Oh, uh, you can only hold the one. Okay. And... Can I do the five foot step before I hold the attack or... Okay. Uh, five foot step over here. Um, gonna make sure that, yes, I have that on. And just ready to bite as soon as one of them gets within biting range. Uh, Cyrus is not gonna do anything. He's just gonna move over there. Time for it's dog. the wolves' turn. And we're not gonna do much of this combat. Um... In fact, this is going to be the last little bit of it, um, because this is your boss fight. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, the dogs. The we rolled dogs. terribly for the dogs. <laughs> we <rolled> terribly <laughs> the for boss our fight. Guys, why did we roll so shit for our boss fight? Why why we had so to make up for the. Up? We one shot of the Scorp scorpion, so we had to do bad for this one. Yeah, well, that's if I true. have one more question for you regarding the damage to the door, does it look like these were big enough to have done that damage to the door? Absolutely. Cool. Uh, also, with that dog getting there at her, I can bite. Okay, make your bite. <laughs> right, I need the cheat sheet. We have a 23 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Okay. I was expecting you to say that would miss. Oh, it's pretty close. For 10 points of damage. Okay. It doesn't seem to care. That's okay. That's okay. And all of you... He's got breath like it him, it he? pads up, and particularly Cypress, you can see there's an odd amount of intelligence behind this dog's eyes, and then it plants its feet in in the ground. I it. And part of its leg, part of the metal on its leg, with a whir, separates out, turns up and points at you. It's this, it's this, like, small little metal tube. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're gonna get shot. <laughs> oh my god, Should we're gonna get shot by a dog. 
In fact, uh, oh according to Pathfinder rules, a shotgun can hit in a in a twenty foot cone. Yeah, I figured. A shotgun can hit. In oh, oh my god, we're gonna get sh all of we're us. We're gonna get shotgunned by a dog. <laughs> yes. Was this what you were talking about earlier? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> These dogs each have a shotgun. Oh, oh my god. My <laughs> Oh, they've strapped a Parker, gun to a dog. <laughs> Parker, you're such a fucking legend. <laughs> put a gun on a dog. Gotta Wrap put a, a gun, gun right dog. on that dog. That you is see going a dog, be... you like could have more guns. That is going to be a 19 at Adhara, an 18 at Elith, and a natural 20 on Cypress. Shh, what does that bring it to? Uh, it brings it to a 24. Fuck, I have a 22. Damn it. <laughs> so that was a 19 you said on Adhara? Yes. Adhara ducks on. underneath the blast. It misses. Okay. That was an 18 was on me? Yeah. That just fucking hits. Yeah. Okay, and then the last of you three? Uh, oh. That is 20 foot cone, baby. Uh, I... That is a. Hmm? Sorry, carry on. I'll type my thought. That is a 17 on Renza. No! 16 on Cypher, on Cyvis, and another 17 on Asha. Um. The 17 hits. It just. It meets it, beats it. Yeah, meets it, beats it. Okay. Let me check what its damage is. Yeah. Is it there you are? Hello. Okay. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna pit your bosses? <laughs> uh, these might get pitted. Uh, I understand. Are fucking pitted. <laughs> um, Let's see if this dog one shots me. <laughs> dog pit. Dog pit. <laughs> the pit should be deep enough. Uh, well, uh, I won't be able to fill up the whole room, but I can definitely get this one that's underneath. Uh, that's near us. Okay. Uh, Renza, that is five points of damage. No, it didn't hit me. Oh, right. Uh, so put that on Edhara. Five points to Edhara. No! Didn't hit either of us. Oh. I think I'm the only one it hit. And no, Cypress. it hit. It hit Cypress. Oh, yeah, it was an at 20. Because it was an at 20. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, so for Elith, you're going to take seven points of damage. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna do Cypress last. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we know. Uh, Asha, that is going to be uh, another uh, 10 points to you. Okay. Side, this is gonna take 12. Cypress. Please. Thirty-three points of damage. Hey, I'm still up, thank God. As a shotgun blast rips through you all, sprinkling little holes in the walls around you. Ah, that's what did it. Did I just get I shot by a dog? Did I have a villain coming up with a fucking shotgun, and I didn't think about the holes in the walls? Oh, fuck would do that to a dog? Did I just get shot by a dog? <laughs> yeah, Cypress yeah, kind of staggers. Shot by a dog. <laughs> Bruh. Um, I, I feel like Cypress is uh, clutching at his face. That probably didn't feel very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it wouldn't. Actually, I need to modify this 
something somewhere's torn up pretty bad on Cyprus. <sighs> I hope you know that if I now have the opportunity to strap a gun to a dog, I'm going to want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. We can salvage the guns off these dogs. Then the next time Renza summons like wolves or something, we can like build a harness or something to God. attach it to the wolves. This is terrible. <laughs> Fuck yeah. This guy's gonna move slightly out of the way so he can get up in your space. I want my own gun dog. <laughs> Asha. Uh, no. Cypress, because you're closer, technically. Yep. That's up. Uh, that is going to be a 22, exactly. Damn it, that's my AC. Fuck. Alright. Uh, <sighs> to be fair, that's only going to be another 10 points of damage. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. I've taken 40 points so far, or 43, technically. Uh, <laughs> and your combat mover defense, I don't think a 11 will beat it. Um, I don't think so either. My CMD uh, is a 21, so, no. Uh, and then Adhara is also going to take a bite. That's fine. Uh, that is uh, going to be a 19. No! So it snaps its jaws and Adhara ducks and dives out of the way again. And with all of you, or at least most of you, uh, reeling from probably your first experience with a firearm, we're gonna call session. Hey, yay! <laughs> <laughs>